Hi, this is Aaron Tweeten. I just wanted to show you what it would look like to create a content calendar using spreadsheet software like Apple Numbers or Microsoft Excel. So the first thing I need to do is create my content categories and so I've got a real simple sheet here. I'm coming uh, I'm uh, using an example of pretending that I'm a bicycle shop owner and that I want to write, write or blog or reach actually reach certain audiences so want to reach casual riders uh, people that commute via bike and then people that are interested in endurance sports so these are going to be the primary categories that I would write to if uh, if you wanted to do something different, you know, if you wanted to make a blog about, oh, I don't know, pastries or something or desserts, you know, you could have one of your categories could be donuts, uh, the other one could be pastries, and then pies or something, something ridiculous like that. Um, it, anyway, I'm just using the example of um, a bike shop owner. Go ahead and, and change it to whatever. The main thing, though, is that I've got I've got a real simple sheet here that just includes the categories, and this represents the cycle. So at the end of three months, this is going to repeat itself. So first month is going to be casual riding. Second month be commuting. Third month is endurance, and then it's going to go back in the fourth month to casual riding. Now to save time, I've already uh, put this together in a second sheet. And so here I've got it broken down into monthly categories. So I've got everything repeating, as you can see here and it repeats throughout the entire year. Now what I've done then is then to the right of the category field I've got a theme field. Oops, sorry about that. And so for this I've got specific themes that I'm going to address. So in January I'm going to focus on writing in in winter conditions. Uh, next month will be commuting in winter conditions. They're related but slightly different. Uh, then for March, write about uh, indoor trainers, although depending on the weather that may be irrelevant. Right now it's 70 degrees outside, so I don't know why it's, anybody would use this, but maybe, maybe somebody needs to. Um, then for April, I'm repeating the casual writing category. But my theme is going to be different. I'm going to be talking about springtime rides and getting started in commuting and how to prepare for races. Then in July, as we're getting close to the summer, I'm going back to casual riding, which we covered in January. But now I'm going to be talking about riding in the heat, uh, covering commuting, how to, you know, how to commute during the summer and then summer endurance tips and then for October uh, this is where uh, the fall is coming and you know I can cover other things like commuting safely uh, maybe focus on uh, headlights or something like that so you can see right here we've got categories they're repeating every three months right here Every three months, we're basically repeating the cycle, but the themes are distinguishable enough to make it so that you're not re repeating yourself, or at least you shouldn't be. Uh, it might change, you know, next year. If you next year, I would suggest, you know, changing up the themes, you know, covering something different. So now that it got it split up by month, now we're ready to break it up into weeks. And for that, I've got another sheet. Let me drag that up so you can see how that looks. So this is 
this is kind of the same setup as before where we got the the months and then the categories and then the themes but now I've got numbers corresponding to each week and this is where this is where you you pick what what specific topic so I'm just going to do this on the fly right now let's pretend it's January and I need to talk about writing casually in winter conditions okay so I I have not prepared for this I'm just gonna come up with this all on on uh, my own with no edits whatsoever try to keep the rambling so here we go um, the first thing I would think about is uh, maybe dealing with rain um, next one might be headlights what kind of headlights to use um, Keeping bike clean. Clean. And I'm trying to think of a fourth one. Of course, my. Um, how to deal with trail closures. That's actually something that's happened in the Sacramento area. We've had our our trails uh, there's some closures because of some flooding and let's see I've got to come up with some fifth thing to write about let's see oh I know how to dress warmly okay now these topics may not seem very impressive but here's the cool thing is that I can I can change these at any time and it gives me something to work on so for example uh, let's let's jump ahead to March because it's this is actually being recorded in March let's let's jump ahead to March um, how to use indoor trainers so I, and I don't even have an indoor trainer so I don't I don't even know what what's um, Let's do where, where to buy. Oh, how about where to get good deals? Everybody wants good deals. How to set up. How to connect to apps like the one that uh, allows you to play games that I can't remember so I'm just gonna put it in Strava and uh, let's do troubleshooting just for fun okay need one more endurance riding how to use indoor trainers mm. how about differences or let's do trainer basics okay so again these topics you're probably looking at them thinking what well, that's not very impressive but it gives me something to work on so say it was month uh, say it was it was March and it's the third week that I'm gonna be working on my video blog I've got a topic right here and I can just focus on that that's the cool thing about creating this content calendar is that you don't have to think so much. You don't have to uh, create anything on demand. It's You've already figured it out. And again, you can change this at any time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I actually created for 2017 uh, for myself. Let me zoom in. So this is a sneak peek, and this is probably subject to change. In fact, I'm going to show you how I did change it. So when I started off this year, and I actually created this calendar, I believe in December, 
My primary content categories were going to be web design, productivity, and WordPress. Now, I've changed that, and I'm not going to get into... I'll probably show you a sneak peek later when I start talking more about uh, specific tasks to do every single day in order to create a video blog. But I just want to show you how I use this for myself. So I've got my three primary content categories. So then I stuck them down here, and then I just basically repeated them and repeated them and then repeated them and then I created a theme so for January I wanted to write about video games and user experience uh, for February it was going to be California history uh, March going to write about page builders uh, to use with WordPress um, in April I was going to kind of cover my whole thing about uh, who, what, and why, and, and preparing for uh, creating a website. For May, it was going to be uh, content creation on tablets, and then uh, some other things I'm not going to bore you with. So then, copying those over here, which is what I pretty much did, I just copied uh, over here and broke it up into the topics I was going to cover per week. So I broke up the video games, I broke up lessons from California history. Uh, for the page builder, what I did was I was originally going to cover the uh, site origin page builder, uh, but I changed that a little bit. Um, and uh, I think for th this, this week right here, I was going to cover a bunch of different page builders. Then down here for productivity, I'm just going to show you some of the examples of this so you can see how I split these topics up. Uh, this would have been apps uh, for blogging, apps for creating uh, downloadable worksheets. Uh, this would be how to, how to create content uh, using just tablets. This would be apps for graphics, apps for audio and video, and then uh, finally show you an inside peek of my publishing house on my tablet. Then for June, I was going to you uh, cover the WordPress.com apps and basically break down what that looks like uh, depending on which system you're using. Uh, then in August, cover the apps that you can use for blogs a lot some of this was actually a repeat of the, these were kind of similar and i think i've changed these but this may was supposed to cover content creation on tablets august was supposed to be content creation on a phone then for September, show you what is packed into Jetpack, which is a popular plugin for WordPress, and just kind of cover some basics um, that can help you. Uh, then uh, cover how to create like a church or nonprofit website, and then some uh, time savers. And then finally in December, I was going to cover uh, the different default themes. The, things that you can do with all of that. Now, as I said before, you can change this whenever you want. And I actually did change this. What happened was I went into February and I wrote one article on John Bidwell and then I decided to change the uh, topic to landing pages. And then for March, I am focusing on video blogging and I think I've I think I've pretty much uh, redone the entire calendar but the cool thing about this is that it gives me 52 weeks of content to focus on I could just come here look up what I'm gonna cover and then start working on it I don't have to think about it and that can be handy like there are some there's going to be some weeks where you know you're all inspired and and you really want to get in into uh, 
recording video or, or writing articles. And then there's some weeks where, you know, you might just be busy, like Monday, tomorrow is just going to be uh, crazy, I think. And I, I'm just not going to have a whole lot of time. But the cool thing is that it's all figured out. Anyway, I hope this helps. And you can get more tips at AaronTweeton.com. Thanks for watching.